Hello friends, welcome back to Tech with Veeresh. In the continuation to our series on Apache Spark interview questions, today we will look at a very interesting question that what is the difference between the three row based transformation APIs provided in the Apache Spark world and those are map, map partition and map partition with index. So uh, all three of them are uh, row based transformation APIs to do any sort of row based transformation any changes on a particular row of a data frame or a data set. In this video, we'll try to find out what is the difference between the three APIs. So guys, let's start. So guys, let's look at what is the uh, innate difference between the three APIs. All three of them, uh, as we have already talked about, are the transformation APIs. All of them are transformation APIs. If you talk about map, it works on a single row at a time, right? When we do a uh, data frame dot map, it gives a cursor or a handle to a particular row and then we can iterate through uh, all the rows and apply some common function. If you talk about map partition, it also works on the row based transformation, but it applies that function on the single partition. All the rows in a one particular partition would be applied upon with that function in one go. If I talk about map partition with index, its its functioning is exactly same as how map partition works, except for the fact that it also retains the index for that partition. If I want to find out that what is the processing has been done or what is the different amount of rows or data available in a, into a particular uh, into a particular partition, that I can do with the help of map partition with index. Uh, Third difference, if we see uh, the, uh, a map as it applies on a single row at a time, it will return uh, the output uh, once the function is applied on a single row. Uh, that's not the case with map partition and map partition with index. It will only return the output once the uh, all the rows in a particular partition are applied upon with the function, with the function or with the transformation that you have applied. Uh, in case of map, uh, the system doesn't need to hold the output into the memory as it's applied on a single row. Each row, they, the function is applied and output is returned. But in case of map partition and map partition with index, as the functionality is applied on one partition at a time, so once all the rows within that partition are applied with that function till that time, the output is holded within the memory and once all the rows in one partition are completed with that functionality, then the output is returned. So a system holds uh, the temporary output within the memory for the processing of a single partition. So guys, let's look each of them with an example. So this is a quick example for map. So in this example, we have created a data frame. We created a list, converted that list into a data frame. Then we have called upon this map API and here what we are simply trying to do, we are taking the integer value of that row because the data frame here created is a single column data frame uh, with values from 1 to 100 and uh, it would be a data set with the type as row. So we, we are taking the integer value of the 0th column and then we are simply trying to do a plus 2 on each of the values. So if you see the output of this transform data frame with the map functionality with the map API is in all the values from 1 to 100 explicitly plus 2 is done. So 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 2, 4, 3 plus 2, 5, 4 plus 2, 6 uh, and like this all in all the rows plus 2 is added. A simple example for a map API. Now let's try to look at, at an example for a map partition. So here what we have done Till here, it's all same. We have created a data frame for the values from 1 to 100. And then we have applied this map partition. Map partition gives us a handle to an iterator. And this iterator can iterate on all the rows within a partition. So this iterator is a handle to iterate through all the rows in a single partition. And in this uh, example, we have tried to find out the length or the number of rows in each partition. So we have explicitly made four partitions and what we are trying to see that in all of these four partitions, how many records are put, right? 
so a partitioning of data is done number of partitions is four we want to see what is the amount of data or what is the number of records in each partition so to do that we have called in the api map partition it has given up the iterator uh, with this iterator we're just trying to find out the length of each partition or the size of each partition and if you see the output it gives the output in the form of this array this array clearly tells me that there are four uh, partitions as we have done the explicit repartitioning and one partition has 24 another has 24 uh, third one also has 34 and fourth one if you see this partition has 28 records and if we do a sum of all of these we get the 100 records as we have in our data frame uh, 100 records with value from 1 to 100 so this api is very helpful to see what is the size or what is the number of records in each partition to do some kind of performance tuning and want to see what is the whether the partitions are balanced or not balanced so this is the example for map partition so here we have the example for map partition with index so if you see up till here it's all same we have a data frame with the values from 1 to 100 and we have done the repartitioning so that we explicitly have four partitions and then we've called this api map partitions with index this is same as map partition in terms of providing us the iterator to iterate through all the rows in a particular partition but along with that it also giving us the index value for the different partitions in that particular data frame or data set so here we have the index and then we try to find out the size of that partition so if you see the output what we're seeing here is we have four partitions and the index value for different partitions is 0 1 2 and 3 and in the zeroth partition we have 24 records in the one partition the partition number one we have 24 records and in partition number three the fourth partition we have 24 records so here it works exactly same as map partition except for the fact that it also giving us the handle for the index value of the partition what is the index number of that particular partition so guys that's the minute difference between the three apis very useful in terms of doing any sort of performance analysis want to see whether my partitions are balanced or not balanced uh, whether one of the partition is carrying a huge amount of data versus the other partitions and also in terms of uh, we can use map partition to also find out what are the innate rows values assigned to a particular partition if you want to see what is the value assigned to the partition number one a partition number two that we can also do with this api map partition with index so guys that's it in this particular video thanks for watching keep learning have a good day ahead bye bye